Hello my beauties, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. So first of all, I started with this Aveeno uh, moisturizer and I applied it all over. Then I got the Pore Professionals and I just applied it in the areas where I have more pores, which is in my cheeks, on my nose, and on my forehead. Then I went with this Master Prime by, ba by Maybelline and I applied that all over my skin. That just keeps my skin a little more matte since I am oily and if I just apply the professionals, um, it does make my face too dewy. Now, I accidentally deleted the clip when I started applying my foundation, but I applied, I applied the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I'm just doing that with the Black Beauty Blender. Um, now I'm going to go with my Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush because I could not find my Anastasia brush. But this brush is actually a little better. I like it um, to draw my brows. And I didn't even notice that I'm covering most of it. But I'm just um, underlining my natural brow shape. And I'm just going in with a, um, with a pomade and filling it in. Now I'm just going with the spoolie and cleaning my brow up just brushing it up and down. Now I'm going to start doing my other brow. Um, and this process is different for everybody. Like I already do have a lot of naturally full brows. Um, but if you guys do not, then it might be a little different for you guys. You guys might have to do a little more extra. And then I always like going with the spoolie just to blend them out, just so they will look a little more natural. Now I'm getting the Anastasia Concealer. I've been loving this concealer for under my brows. And I'm just going to clean my brows um, on the bottom and on the top. I love doing this all the time just because it makes them look more defined. It finishes the look. But if you don't, you don't want to go that extra mile, you could just leave it like that. But I love how they look cleaned up. And I'm just using a blending brush to blend that out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. So I barely started using this concealer and I love it. It's creamy but not watery. If you guys know, if you guys had many concealers, you guys know that you get those dry patchy concealers or you get the really watery one. And this one is just creamy and really easy to work with, really easy to blend out. And it leaves my skin looking good. It doesn't look patchy or anything. Now I'm going in with Anastasia powder and I'm just kind of um, defining my brows a little more just because I felt like they weren't that defined. So I'm just going like in the in the corners of, of my brow and just kind of adding a little more powder and a little more dimension to them. Now I'm just going to go with my spoolie just to make sure everything is nice. Now I already added tape and I'm going to put my Urban Decay Primer. This is my favorite primer if you guys have oily lids. This is a must. I've tried other ones. I've tried the Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance and it didn't really do much for me. So now I'm going to get the palette out and I'm going to use the first shade, the shade Cashew True. And I'm just going to apply that and start blending that as a transition color. That's the first color I'm going to use that's going to help me. Now I just want to blend that into your lips. Now I'm going to go with the color above that which is going to, it's called Almond Truffle. And this color I'm just going to start building it. It's a little darker color, like kind of a cocoa color. And I'm just going to start um, adding that to my lid and just um, blending it in back and forth motions and circular motions as well. I'm just doing it little by little to add the color and um, just blend, blend, blend until you find your desired color, you know. Um, it's better to just apply a little and then build up rather than to apply too much because then it's really going to be really hard to blend out in the future. So we're just going to get that and we're just going to start blending and blending on both eyes. And now I'm going to move to the color Mocha and I'm going to apply that a little under the two colors that I just blended a little lower under the crease and I'm just going to start blending that um, to add a little more dimension on the outer V's and um, I'm just focusing on the outer V just so that can bring a little more smokiness to the eye 
and we're just gonna blend, 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 blend until you feel comfortable and until you feel that everything looks nice. You can never blend too much. Um, it's key for everything, building and blending, building and blending the color is key. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna get the color Vortox. And this color, I'm gonna use a pencil brush and I'm just gonna go in my inner corner and my outer corner and I'm just gonna leave the middle. I'm not gonna shade in the middle, I'm gonna shade everything but the middle. And um, I'm just gonna start blending, blending with a blending brush now. And um, this color is just gonna add a lot more dimension as well and just make everything look really nice. Um, just do that, do that. And now I'm gonna go with the color Mocha just to blend that out, just to give it a little soft softness to it because Vortex is a little, um, darker on its own so and then I'm just going to go back in with that color again and I'm just going to further darken things up a little just so it can look a little tiny tad darker um, just went back with that color just had more dimension and now I'm going to get a pencil brush again and I'm just going to do the same exact thing to the other eye so I'm just outlining my eye basically just leaving everything Every, just filling everything except the middle part and then I'm just getting a blending brush and blending and blending and blending and blending and I'm just doing the same for both eyes just blending blending and blending now I'm going to get the color molasses chip and I'm going to place that in the middle of the center of my eye and I'm just going to get a blending brush and kind of pat it back and forth just to blend out the edges and then I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to get my Wet n Wild H2O eyeliner and I'm just going to wing my wing and it's really hard for me to try to do it on camera. I suck doing it on camera when I do it on, on my regular mirror that I always use. I do such a good job but I tried doing this and I did a really bad job. Um, just try your best. Um, there's days where my wings come out perfect and there's days when I'm nervous like when I'm filming for you guys. Or I know I'm going somewhere, I'm like, I should have just not done a wink because they come out terrible. But just try your best and practice makes perfect. Just remember that. And this is one of my favorite eyeliners just because I am a person that gets really watery in your corners. And with the other eyes, all, uh, other eye liners, they just wash away and it gets on my nerves. So now I'm just getting all the colors that I used on my lid and I'm just mixing those on my lower lid with a pencil brush. This is just going to give it a sm the smoked effect on the bottom as well. So I'm just getting a small pencil brush and adding those colors in. Just blending them, blending them and just adding a little more dimension to my eye. And you can use a smaller fluffy brush if you don't have a pencil brush. Um, I like using a pencil brush and then sometimes I go back in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my concealer and I'm just going to start um, concealing my face under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, on the middle of my forehead and I'm just going to get a beauty blender and I'm just going to start blending that out, just blending it all in with my skin and everything. Um, the concealer I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer, that's my favorite concealer and my shade is yellow since I do have a yellow undertone, it looks beautiful on my skin. And I'm just going to get the Airspun powder and I'm just going to um, bake those areas. I don't bake for too long girls, I don't bake for 5 minutes, I just bake as long as I'm done bouncing up my face and then I brush everything out because I have done it for a long time and it just turns out terrible. So now I'm getting the Wet n Wild concealer duo and I'm just getting the darker shade and I'm using the Dusa de Leche one and I'm just getting the dark brown shade and I'm just bronzing up my face. I'm just getting a smaller brush to bronze my nose up, not to bronze it, to contour my nose and um, I'm just getting a fluffier brush to blend everything out on my nose and I'm just blending everything out. Now I'm getting a big fluffy brush to take all that powder off and just to blend everything else out. Um, like I said, I don't like baking for too long. And now I'm getting a Wet n Wild um, blush and rose champagne. 
I'm just applying that up in really into natural shades. Now I'm getting my Fix Plus and a brush and I'm just applying um, my highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's so Hollywood and it's been one of my favorites lately. I'm just applying it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, on my on my the top of my cheeks and I'm just gonna get a red lipstick from Ofra. I'm not sure of the name. So I'm gonna start outlining my lips with it and I do a terrible job at this like I said doing it in the mirror versus doing it with this little tiny mirror is so hard I don't know why um, so I'm just outlining everything filling it in and yeah I did a terrible job at this girl so just try a little harder than me but nothing concealer can't fix so I fixed it with concealer and then I'm getting um, the shade um, the shade satin sheets and I'm just applying that in my inner corners just to intensify everything. I already added my lashes and mascara and I'm just going to set everything. Thank you guys again for watching girls. Hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs>